Welcome to our channel. Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to be taking a look at a bandolier survival kit. This is something that I put together. Um, I really like the idea of having some bandoliers on hand. Uh, they're just a really, really easy way and generally fairly inexpensive way to carry your magazines. Whether you're keeping a few mags uh, you know, in your truck or going to and from the range, what have you. They're just a really uh, inexpensive way to do that. So I took that concept and kind of just made a really uh, basic kind of down and dirty survival kit. This isn't something that's going to be like taking the place of a, a bug out bag or, or anything like that, like a go bag or something. This is just meant to be a real simple, just uh, slim line, easy to carry survival kit. So whatever you want to uh, say the application for it is, is up to you. It could be something you keep in your truck. Um, it could be kind of like a handout bag in the case of an emergency. This could be whatever you want it to be. I just uh, I just like the idea and the concept of a, uh, a bandolier survival kit, and that's what it is. So what I'm going to do is just go through each thing that I have in here and show you. And, uh, yeah, just maybe give you some ideas. If you want to put something like this together yourself, you might modify it to suit your needs a little bit more. But, uh, yeah, so let's get into it. So first off, the bandolier itself is a uh, it's made by savior defense and they make these in several different colors uh black flat dark earth and then obviously the one i have here is the gray so it's just a real basic uh bandolier i believe they advertise it to hold six magazines um but it will actually hold 12. so you've got three pouches on each side and each of these pouches will hold two magazines now when i say they'll hold two magazines i am referring to uh AR-15 PMAGs. Um, now, I've got this set up to couple with, obviously, an AR platform rifle. But you could set this up ever how you wanted. You could, uh, you could have this set up to just go with your Glock handgun. You could have this set up for an AK variant. Um, maybe even a shotgun. Whatever you want in that regard, you'd have to modify this to suit whatever gun you've got it to go with. But uh, the way I've got this set up is it meant to just kind of this and a rifle kind of go together. So, like I said, the uh, the bandolier itself is made by Savior Defense. It's said to hold six magazines, but like I said, if you wanted to just fill this up with mags, I found that it will hold six on each side here. So you could actually put 12 mags in here if you just wanted that for range use. Uh, obviously, I don't have this full of mags because I have it set up as a kind of a survival kit. So we'll get into it. Uh, first thing I have in the first pouch here is I have two P mags right here in the first pouch in the second pouch i have two more p mags okay so the way i have this set up i have a total of four magazines in the bandolier uh so if you had a rifle with one in the gun you would have 150 rounds there all together so that's the uh the way i've got that set up in the second pouch here you open this up and i have a mora knife uh, if you're not familiar with moras these things are uh, they're really inexpensive and they're a, they're a really decent little quality knife for the money i've seen these things as cheap as seven bucks online um, i bought a two pack of them the other day in orange uh, i believe it was for 15 bucks on ebay for two of these so they have a nice uh plastic sheath there so that's pretty simple so in this compartment i have a mora i also have a flashlight um, this is just a little energizer vision hd 300 lumen light it is pretty bright for what it is, um, obviously, and it has a, it's a high, a low, and then off. Obviously, this isn't going to be on par with like a Streamlight or Surefire or anything like that, but I found these little Energizer lights to be pretty good um, for the money, and they mainly, they seem to hold up well and always work. They're not going to be as bright as some of those other uh, more name brand lights, and trust me, I prefer, Streamlight is pretty much my go-to uh, brand when it comes to flashlights. 
but with something like this it's, it's hard for me to obviously put the money out to have a stream light in every bag um, I have lots and lots of stream light products um, I carry a stream light every single day in my pocket but on something like this uh, just a, a quality little flashlight that is reliable uh, for me is good enough in this application and uh, although this may not be the brightest light in the world it does seem to be reliable so that's everything that's in this side and then as you flip it over you've got three more compartments so I open the first one we have a roll of electrical tape okay we have cotton ball and Vaseline which is for fire tender purposes if you uh, didn't know about that you can look that up we have a little waterproof container and uh, inside of that container I have got a cotton ball on top I have waterproof matches and I also have a, uh, a striker to strike the matches anywhere these are not strike anywhere matches so I do have a striker in there with them but they are waterproof and then the container I have them in obviously has a little waterproof uh, seal on it also so we got some matches go a little deeper we have our uh, striker and steel so you could make a fire with this as you can see and then also just a standard big lighter so I got all that next compartment here I have a tourniquet a brand new tourniquet unopened never used that's all that's in that compartment and then the next compartment I have a life straw and I have a roll of paracord I believe that's 50 feet and that is it so like I said it's a pretty it's a pretty simple um, pretty simple survival kit in my opinion it's nothing nothing too extreme and uh, I'm sure you could definitely fit more in it um, you could definitely get more more things in this kit I'm not uh not arguing that this is just what I have so far and I thought this was just a pretty cool little grab and go bag uh, like I said obviously this particular one is meant to be paired with a rifle of a AR platform but you know you, you could eliminate a couple of these magazines and that would give you another compartment to put maybe some food or something like that that definitely would be a neat little option um, obviously you could modify this to work with a pistol caliber carbine uh, so those mags would be a little bit smaller than this uh, or you could just do it with your your handgun if that's what you wanted to do so there's a lot of flexibility here uh, I mainly just wanted to show this concept I thought it was a pretty cool idea just to have you know just a really simple grab and go kind of bag that you could get this much stuff into uh, these things take up no room I mean you can just keep these laying around anywhere and you've got some um, some basic survival stuff here I'm not saying this is something that I would want to take and live in the woods for a year with definitely not but it definitely might bail you out in a uh, in a pinch situation or SHTF or whatever your scenario so that pretty much wraps it up guys if you have any uh comments just drop them below if you have any suggestions for maybe a few more things i could add i definitely could get a few more things in here and uh, i'm not opposed to the idea of, of taking something out if there's something that uh you know i would get a little bit more use out of in this kit so if you have any other ideas or anything like that just drop them in the comments and i hope this gives somebody a uh maybe some ideas of their own to go out and set something up like this as always thanks for watching and we'll see you next time